What's up guys? Welcome back to Amazing RC. As you can see, we're going to jump right back into our twin slash projects, Delta and Gamma. That's where we're taking these two basic slash models and turning them into short, coarse, oval, dirt track monsters. Now, if you remember correctly, the very first thing that we did was swap out the rubber and rims to these two cars to keep them glued to the ground a little bit better. Now we're going to jump onto the inside and we're going to swap out these nylon shock towers and these basic shocks for something a little bit better. Now, if you can see, these shock towers are made of nylon and they've got a lot of twist and a lot of movement in them. Well, that's not good when you're trying to get the best response out of your shock. Well, speaking of shocks, we're going to go ahead and swap out the shocks for these Traxxas big four OEM swaps. As for our shock towers, we're going to go right back to what I swear by, these STRC shock towers, aluminum alloy front and back, this time in graphite gray. If you remember, for Project Beta, we use the same thing. Man, I'll tell you what, these won't move one inch. Let's get to work, guys. And there you have it. Now, one of the slashes is complete with both the front and the back shock towers, as well as your big board tracks of shocks. Now, sometimes when you're upgrading an RC vehicle, you kind of want to know where your money's going. So before I get into the second slash, I'd like to show you the difference between your nylon shock tower, which is stock from Traxxas, and the STRC shock tower, which is aluminum. Now, as you can see, we have both of our model slashes, one of which has the STRC aluminum shock towers front and back, as well as the Traxxas big bore shocks. The other one is still stock. Now basically, the difference is very simple as soon as you look at it. Here's your nylon shock tower. Here's your aluminum shock tower. These are your shock towers for the front. Now, of course, when you look at it, this is really pretty. This, well, not so much. But the difference is here. Here's your nylon shock tower. If you can see, you can basically tie this thing into a knot. Now here's your aluminum shock tower. I'm not even going to try. There's nothing you can do to it. It's if you bend this, you did some pretty remarkable stuff. Now, where your difference is going to be is when you're driving. Here's your regular stock slash. Here are your shocks. Here's your front shock tower. It's flexing. Basically, you're going to lose your shock response. Now when you have your upgraded slash, here's your shock tower now. Now, your body mounts can move, which is fine. You want your body to be able to flex. However, you don't want these to move. And now that it's on there, there's nothing I can do. I couldn't rip this thing off. Now what that's going to do is give you better shock response. It's more accurate shock response. When you put all the money into your rims, your tires, your shocks, you got to have something to connect the whole entire system to and the STRC shock towers front and back are the way to do it. Now that we have the shock towers front and back completed on our slashes, now it's time to fit the body. This is going to be a little bit more tricky of a install than normal. This isn't your quintessential pro line one tenth body that just fits right onto your slash. This is going to be your 1 8th body. The reason being is, is what we're going for is a dirt oval track car. Now, currently, they don't make one in a 1 10th that's RTR. So it's up to us at Amazing RC to fit 1 8th body onto a 1 10th slash. Trust me when I tell you this. Watch the videos. Stay tuned. This is going to come out really good. 